All right, guys, this is the radial arm drill press table that I got from uh, Keith Rucker at VintageMachinery.org. Anyhow, I bought this to create a simple, quick little welding table that takes up a small footprint. All right, so we're going to weld up a stand for this thing to ride on with some casters so you can move it in and out of the way. Got some 4-inch square tube here. Um, I've wiped it down with acetone corners. I'm using these fireball tool squares to uh, square up the ends here. I'm going to tack it all together then finish well with it. Got the legs welded on, got the pads to mount the casters, got it finished welded up. Like the old saying goes, I don't always make bad welds, but when I do, I'll put them right where you can see them. Again, this is going to mount on top of this table, it's going to mount the bottom of the table here and hold the table up. This is again a radial arm drill press table. Okay guys, so here's um, the finished product. This is the uh, stand once I finished it up. I completely welded it, uh, put the casters on it. I put some little plastic decorative end caps over the open uh, tube there. It turned out pretty good. Again, this is like I said, it's the radial arm uh, table off of a radial arm drill press. Um, what I'm showing you here is the um, Fireball Tools makes these uh, squares. That's the uh, monster square and the regular square. I got the cast iron version and the black oxide coating. Um, they got these pretty cool little tabs that can fold over, just help square everything up, hold it all the same. Um, this is not a sponsored video. Um, I bought these from Fireball Tools just like everybody else. Um, it's a pretty cool little setup here. This is a set of fabrication. Uh, it's basically like one, two, three blocks, but they're for... Uh, fabricating they're magnetic and you can use them to hold stock up at different heights for welding and stuff like that pretty neat little set uh, I find I use them quite a bit um, just like I said just a set of magnetic blocks in different sizes and thicknesses uh, works out pretty good for squaring up stuff uh, so uh, I have an acorn welding table that I bought and it was a five by five but the real estate's kind of tight here at the old East Lake House of Speed so I ended up uh, coming up with this idea because this is about a uh, 24 by 48 footprint and in using it with the being a radial arm drill press table for machining ops and stuff uh, it's got these T slots here which is what I'm showing you now and what that does is it allows you some uh, some different fixturing ideas you can come up with like with this table it's got that uh, front face I'm going to show you here in just a second but anyhow these are some 7 8 inch T nuts that have uh, three quarter ten bolt holes in them so you can use the different strap clamps and stuff like that you would see for like milling ops and stuff but uh, anyhow with that front 90 degree there it gives you a lot of options for just uh, fixturing and jigging up as you can see I threw that one on the ground to show how durable they are but uh, anyhow guys um, that's the uh, welding table I'm pretty happy with the way it turned out especially for a really small area it doesn't have a uh, very big footprint like I say the East Lake House of Speed is uh, not the largest shop in the area so there it is all right guys thanks for watching uh, please like and subscribe again this is just a little tool video uh, starting next week we're going to be right back in it with uh, footage from the moxville race at the southeast gassers we got the uh, 409 cars loaded up and we're going to be heading that way in the morning